Okay, hello. Uh, I am going to tell you about one-sided limits while my while my daughter eats lunch here. Um, so in this video, um, I want to go back to the example that we used in in the last video. So let me share my screen here. So this is the example with the cell phone data, um, where uh, they the x-axis is the number of gigabytes you use, and the y-axis is the the cost of your plan. And so they charge you ten dollars per per gigabyte for uh, up to two gigabytes. But then if you go over, there's like a thirty dollars surcharge, and then they start charging you twenty dollars a gigabyte. So um, we said last time that if I'm interested in the limit as x approaches two, this limit does not exist because we, um, if I tell you I used approximately two gigabytes, you cannot tell me how much your cell phone plan is going to cost because if I use approximately two, but it's less than two, then you're going to spend approximately $20 on your cell phone plan. But if you use approximately two gigabytes, but it's more than two, then you're going to spend approximately $50 because there's a surcharge. So the limit as X, as the, as the data is getting close to two gigabytes, the limit of the price does not exist because I'm not going to be able to figure out which of these things, uh, things it is. But if you knew more information, you would be able to tell me. So if I if I told you, yes, I use about two gigabytes, but I know that I didn't use more than two gigabytes, how much is my cell phone bill going to be, then you would be able to tell me I if you know you didn't use more than two gigabytes, you're not getting this 30 this $30 surcharge. And so you um, know in that case that your bill is going to be about twenty dollars so the the concept of knowing that you are you are less than two gigabytes we say that this is the limit as x approaches two from the left so that means because x is less than two so we're saying in this case if i know that i use about two gigabytes but i'm approaching from the left hand side then actually yes i can tell you that um that the limit is going to be about twenty dollars the limit will be twenty dollars in this case um, so this is called a left-hand side limit, a one-side limit. So in this case, even though the limit as X approaches two does not exist, the left-sided limit as X approaches two does exist. And similarly, if I tell you, um, if I wanna compute the limit from the right, so I'm telling you I use about two gigabytes, but I know I went over two gigabytes. So how much is it gonna cost me? Then you can tell me, yes, well, it's about to cost you $50 then. Um, the, I know that I get this $30 surcharge then. And so if I use about two gigabytes, but I know that I get the $30 surcharge, then the bill is going to be about $50. And so in this side, in this case, the limit, the right hand side limit is also going to exist. So both of these one sided limits exist, even though the limit itself, the limit as X approaches to does not exist. We can still say what the left hand side limit is and what the right hand side limit is.